Welcome to the story of Jesus Blesses the Children. This story is from Mark chapter 10, verses 13 through 16. The lesson focus for grades five and six is, there are things in our lives that we can trust. It may seem surprising that the disciples tried to keep children away from Jesus, but in biblical times, children had little or no status. When Jesus called the children to him, he was breaking tradition and going against customs of the time, but he was raising their status to a new amazing level. Children play a significant role in Mark's gospel. Mark's stories about Jesus' encounters with children always lead to grace. When Jesus invites us to love God like a child, he is inviting us to simply let go of the illusion that we are the ones who can control our lives. Instead, we are called to confidently receive and believe in the love that Jesus gives. The disciples in this story were mistakenly trying to control access to Jesus. However, Jesus shows us that the kingdom of God will not come by our control. We cannot control who has access to the kingdom. The kingdom comes purely by Jesus Christ's welcome. It is important to remember that the faith of children is not always simple. Kids can ask profound questions about faith that adults sometimes shy away from. The message here is that even in honest questions, we are still loved. In this story, Jesus wants us to know that there are things in our lives that we can trust. One of these things is the knowledge that we are loved as children of God. Jesus emphasizes the children in this story because they so confidently trust this love from God. Jesus wants us all to have this childlike confidence so that it can carry us, even when our lives are weighed down by grown-up complications. Jesus teaches us in this story that kids can model faith for others. You can encourage kids to share Jesus' message of love with others and remind them that even grown-ups can learn a lot from how kids model faith. The story of Jesus blessing the children opens the door to conversations about trust. Jesus wants to welcome us, and Jesus wants us to welcome kids. How can you be a trustworthy person in the lives of these fifth and sixth graders? In a lesson about trust, it's important to create a trusting environment. If some of their comments and responses lead to a deeper discussion, you can go there, but don't push your kids if they don't want to leave their comfort zone. Kids in fifth and sixth grade may identify themselves as older than the children in this story. It is still important to emphasize with them that the invitation and love that Jesus offers is for them too. Self-reflection can be challenging for some kids. If they mention bad memories during the childhood memory mapping activity, don't ignore this. Consider discussing these memories later in the lesson and check in with the kid after class time if it is especially concerning. During the verse tangle leaflet activity, you and the kids might have different ideas of what receiving the kingdom means. Encourage conversation about this phrase throughout your time together. Kids this age appreciate discussions where their opinions are taken seriously. Trust building activities like trust leans are built on group concentration and commitment. Let your kids know that safety first is a priority in your class. If some of them don't take this activity seriously, ask them to sit it out. Excluding someone from this activity will also emphasize how harmful a break in trust can be. Trust can be difficult. Trusting our family, trusting our friends, and even trusting God. Be honest about the challenges of trust throughout this lesson while emphasizing that there are things in our life that we can trust. 